Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I'm using the Giant's Hellbeard, and this thing is pretty good. Oh, and before I go on any farther, I am having some matches right here in the beginning with Judas. He is another one of those awesome top tier players, and yeah, so he destroys me a few times, and yeah. You guys will enjoy that. Anyway, the Giant's Halberd. This weapon, it does physical and lightning damage, so it's split damage. A lot of people don't really like that, but overall it does decent damage once it ends up working out through the defenses and all that. Uh, for me, the physical is about 355 plus, I believe it's 202 lightning damage, so that gives me about... 557-ish uh, damage, at least that's what it says, minus the defensive blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Um, the weight of it, I believe, is 16 units of whatever weight it is, and that makes it a pretty heavy weapon, obviously it's a heavy weapon, so a lot of people also tend to avoid it because of that. So you've got a heavy weapon that does split damage, and it's not... 600 plus. So, eh, it's, it's kind of often avoided because of that. And I really like this thing. Now, I've been enjoying the moveset that's similar to this recently, the Hellbeard moveset. Um, not the Hellbeard specifically, but that class. So, the Catch Pull, the Scythe, and the Giant's Hellbeard. I've been enjoying those movesets quite a bit recently. And with this one, I am finding its R2 is actually pretty easy to make contact with. It's got a bit of a delay on it, so you can mess up someone's parry if they think you're going to R1 spam, and it does decent damage when you make contact. I believe in either this fight or the next fight, he gets a partial parry on me, and it still does 400 some odd damage with the two-handed R2, so that's pretty good. Um, right there. I almost had that parry and just get a knee to the face instead. It happens. <laughs> yeah. So, getting on to the next fight. Right there, got him with that poke. It's really easy to frame it, actually, without the target lock. I... I was decently surprised with how easy it is to use. Um, right there, got him with that second hit. It stuns on the second hit at 53 poise. Uh, he was walking forward away from that tree. I just knew he was going to do it. And right there, there was that partial parry I was talking about before. Um, yeah, good stuff. This weapon, it's pretty good. Even though it is split damage, it's pretty strong still. It is a really fun moveset, and I like it a lot. Um, for the pros and cons of the weapon, I would say that the pros would include its massively long reach, the fact that it stuns on the second hit, and it's got a R2 attack that is relatively easy to make contact with. So it's really pretty decent in my opinion. The damage isn't that bad for one that's got split damage, and I don't really think that's much of a problem. That's just my opinion, but I don't really think that's that big of a deal with this weapon. Um, the cons, it's got a massive weight for it. It weighs, as I said before, 16 units. So really, if you make a lightning sight, it does roughly the same damage. It's got the same damage output, and it's lighter. It weighs only like 5 or 6. So you're getting the same effect for a lot less. Um, the only thing you'd really be losing out on is the moveset, which is one of the things I really enjoy about this weapon. I like those R2 attacks. Um, it would be really nice if those R2 attacks stunned on the first hit, because, you know, I feel like they should, especially since two swings from its R1s do stun on the first hit. So, that's just my opinion. I think that they should, but they don't. Uh, oh well. Could be worse. So... I believe either this match or the next is my last match I have with Judas. And right there, I thought I had him with that. I thought I had him, and he said it was really close. And actually, I like this right here. 
Apparently, he listens to music when he plays and can't hear anything going on in the game. So, when he was messaging me back, he didn't hear the red happy lizard coming up behind him to kill him. <laughs> it happens. It happens to everyone at least once. And, yeah. I guess maybe this is the last match I've got with him. I don't remember exactly. Um, right there he did a little ravioli step thing and got me with that running attack thing that you can do with it. And he is just destroying me this match. He doesn't, and I don't really see this weapon used hardly ever in PvP, so it's kind of hard to know how to deal with it at first. But once you do, it's really easy. Um, with this weapon, I think it's best to wait until the person you're fighting against either is coming up from a roll to swing, because you've got the massive range of it, you can pretty much hit them wherever they are. Like, no matter how far away, if they're coming in for any kind of attack, you're gonna hit them, pretty much. Um, also, you've got its wide swings with the rolling attacks. You can actually dead angle with those pretty easily. Just hit right around the shield. I was actually trying for it right there. It didn't end up working out for me. And, yeah. Oh well. Um, I believe that this fight right here is actually pretty close. I think this is the last one now. I think this is it. Um, you got your jumping attacks that are actually good, unlike the Titan that catch pole. You can actually do a jumping attack with a horizontal swing with this weapon. Um, right there, I think he was trying to walk around me for a backstab, but it didn't really work out for him. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he was trying to do. And right here, yep, this is it. I was trying to go for the jumping attack, and I failed. I ended up doing a regular R2 instead, and that was the end of that. And that's the last of Judas for the video. He's giving everyone a nice little wave, and moving on to some random invasions. Alright. So, now we have a red phantom. And, you know, I wasn't really expecting to be ganked over here because that's been happening a lot recently. Just fake little fight clubs going on down in this area. And I've seen it in a few places. I saw it in the burg at first. Then I started seeing it in the township. And now I'm seeing it here. I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. So he's using the gargoyles halberd. And... Not really doing so well with it. And trade hits for the win. Give him a nice little wave. And move on to the host, who has Sunlight Blade on, which is really the reason why I was expecting to be ganked. So, eh, it happens. And luckily for me, he, after he puts on his Great Magic Barrier, which isn't going to help him because I don't do magic damage, he gives me a nice little bow and his Sunlight Blade wore off. So that's good for me. And actually, I didn't know that... Oh wait, that's not this fight. Never mind. Never mind. I was fighting someone the other day who had Great Magic Barrier on, and I threw a Lloyd's Talisman at them, and they were affected by it, but the fog around them never showed up. So, yeah, I guess that happens sometimes. And he rolls off the edge, give him a nice little shrug, and go off the edge after him. Because, you know, give him some souls. I kind of felt a little bit bad for him that he rolled off the edge like that, and... Yeah. So, we've got another guy using Pursuers and, uh, what is it, a uh, Scimitar, Felchion, whatever. I'm probably saying both of those wrong. I don't care. <laughs> I'll say him how I want to say him. So, I backstabbed him. He's running low on health. I'm just sort of fooling around at this point, not really caring, and got him with that last little hit. Give him a wave, and again, moving on to the next. Now, if you noticed, I am running low on humanity and souls. I, once again, did something stupid and walked off an edge as I was on my way to go get my souls and humanity, so I lost 32 million souls and 99 humanity. Again. It's the third time that this has happened, and the last two times, it's been in the exact same spot. You know, I don't know what it is about walking near an edge, but something just always distracts me and I always walk right off. Usually it's my dog. And, you know, I don't know how many times I've done that. It's so annoying. But, 
that's besides the point. So, for any of you who are paying attention to my soul count, or humanity count, that's what's going on with that. I completely failed, and yeah, I just completely failed. So, for anyone who was wondering, or anyone who cared to notice, that's what happened with that. <laughs> so, we've got another guy who had pursuers on, and... You know, that's one thing I'm really noticing a lot of in the forest. You've got a lot of guys with pursuers and dark magic and all that. So if you want to practice dodging that stuff, this is definitely the place you want to be invading. Surprisingly, there's actually, at least from what I've seen, more here than in the township. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not going to complain. It's definitely a good place to practice dodging your dark magic, spam, and all that good stuff. Uh, especially when you've got those guys who come in with pursuers that can one-shot you and crystal magic weapon on a Felchion or Scimitar and just come in R1 spamming you. It's great to practice countering them. Um, another thing I'm noticing, actually, I will be putting that video up sometime relatively soon, but I'm noticing a lot of people with the Great Scythe. Shock, right? such a huge shock, especially since, you know, ENB put up that video the other day. But uh, I'll cover that in the next weapon showcase that I do. And, yeah. Um, this is the last fight. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Um, hope I can see some more of this weapon out there, because it's pretty good. Uh, it's got that massive reach. Split damage, but still decent. And, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.